Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Math Help and how it also works with the AGE programming in the Prototrack RMX control. So first of all, I wanna take a few steps backwards and talk about the fact that ever since the Verse Prototrack was developed in 1984, we've had a button called Math Help. And what it's for is to help you figure out points that maybe aren't on the print from whoever drew the print originally. Maybe it's an intersection of two lines or a line in an arc or a tangency or something missing on an angle. There's a math help to figure out whatever it is that you may or may not um, need help with, okay? And the way that it works is, of course, um, if I push the button that says math help, you're gonna have different equations in here. Like you see the top one says find the intersection of two lines followed by a line in an arc or by two arcs or tangencies of lines and arcs, um, finding points or centers or radius or angles um, polar Cartesian coordinates, things like that, okay? Um, truth of the matter is, uh, for the last 15 years, we've made the AGE programming so good that you almost never are gonna need math help unless you really have a poorly drawn print. That being said, I think if you understand math help, it'll also help you be a better programmer in AGE because what AGE is actually doing is when you come across a missing dimension, it's doing the math helps for you. So if you know what the math helps do, then you'll know, hey, I need to fill in this part and hey, I can skip that part, okay? So what you're seeing right now is a screenshot of a part that I programmed that we call the dog bone because it's kind of shaped like that. And these four small radiuses are actually Conrad's, okay? So the way I want you to view this part is there's two arcs and there's two lines and that's really the geometry we wanna focus on. You can tell from this little blue dot over here that I started right there and I did this arc going to that line, this arc, that line, and back to where I started. So all four of the equations that are missing on the print, as you can see in the corner, are showing me that, hey, I don't have the actual intersecting point in the X axis. So what I would do if I wanted to figure this out by hand is I would select math help, and I would look for the intersection of a line and an arc, which is B, and then it gives me a couple different descriptions depending on what I have on my print. Now in this case, I'm trying to find the intersection of a line and an arc when I know two points on the line and I know the center and the radius, which is type 13. So I select type 13 and it draws an illustration. It says, give me two points on that line, give me the center, tell me the radius. So from my print there, zero, zero is the center of this, okay? But I've got a 30 inch radius on here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna say, okay, my, my line, which most importantly tells me it's 10 inches above zero. So the two Y axis numbers are what really matters. So I'm gonna use zero and 10 inches for one side, and I'm gonna go 100 and 10 inches on the other side. That describes my line. Then I'm gonna tell it that my arc center is zero, zero, and my radius is 30 inches. And you'll see that it redraws the equation and it shows a red dot saying this is the first solution, one of two, okay? So that happens to be the one I was looking for, so this answer right here is what I've got. But keep in mind that there's also a next solution which switches over to the other place where that same line would intersect that arc. And so if I'm programming an AGE, I'm gonna use the feature called guess. And what I'm gonna actually do is when I get to this point, I'm gonna push the guess button and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna to touch the screen and say right around here is where I want it to be. And when I fill in the Y dimension and the center and the radius, it's gonna do that math help and it's gonna pick the first solution because I guessed closer to this side than I did that side. And I did it in all four of these places. So if I go back to the very beginning of this program, to give you an idea, here's my starting point. And then when I page forward, you'll see that there's a G in front of that 30 inches. So what I said is, hey, I don't know the X. So I push the guess button, tap the screen, hit the enter key, and it says it's somewhere around 30 inches. Because that's a 30 inch radius, I'm way closer to the right answer. I would have had to punch minus 30 to get it on the other side. And then I just did that in all four of these equations where the X axis uh, dimension was missing and it completed the entire part. So the next thing I wanna show you is a different part that has to do with tangencies, okay? So I'm going to go to my storage mode and I'm just gonna open up this part here that's called a cam, okay? And in this cam print, let me grab it real quickly, okay? 
So in here, when I move forward, you're gonna see that this is a cam-shaped part. And the difference now is that these two arcs are tangent both here and here to those, or I'm sorry, these two lines are tangent to those two arcs, okay? All four dimensions are missing again, but it's the same type of an equation, okay? So what I did is I guessed at both X and Y as I walk through, so you'll see there's a G in front of both of them. So I would simply say, I don't know X or Y, hit the guess button, touch the screen near where the problem is, hit the absolute key and it'll save it until I give the center and the radius of the tangencies. In math help, what it actually did, go back to math help and go to where it says line arc tangencies. And the very first one in here says, find the intersection of a line that's tangent to two arcs when you know the centers and the radii. So I select 16, in this case it even looks like the part, and I just fill in the information. It wants the center and the radius of each arc. So the first one, the center is zero, zero. The radius is three inches. The second one is six and a half and zero with a radius of 1.95. And you'll see here that there's two solutions again, which would be the line at the bottom or the line at the top. And when I'm programming an AGE, I start out with my arc and I say, I don't know where it ends, but it's tangent to the line. I tell it the line to move forward. I say it's tangent again with the arc. And it's going to do this math help and fill the information in. And the only difference is I'm not giving all the information up front. I'm doing it piece by piece. I'm saying, hey, I've got another line. It's tangent to that arc. I don't know where it ends. Move forward. I've got an arc. It's tangent to the previous line. I don't know where it ends, but I know the center and the radius. I got another milling event. It's tangent to the last arc. Don't know where it ends, so I guess. Last arc, tangent to the previous milling event. I tell it uh, where the center is and what the radius is, and actually before I even got to the radius, it figured it all out and completed the part. So this should give you a little bit of an idea on how math help works. Again, if you've got an arc that's not quite working, but you know where it starts and you know where it ends and you know the radius, maybe your center's off. And you can use that math help and it will re-evaluate and give you the proper center distance so that that arc will work. So anything you're looking for, an angle, a tangency, a intersecting point is in there. But the better you are at using AGE programming, the less you're ever gonna need to use your math help. And if you don't feel that you're comfortable with using AGE programming, you're really missing out on the power of the control. So if that's the case, then I would suggest you either sign up for one of our advanced training courses or talk to your local track rep and say, hey, could you give me a little more pointers and show me a little bit more about this AGE programming? Because the better you understand it, the less you're gonna ever need another computer, especially with the RX control. So hopefully this gets you on track to understand how AGE works a little bit and especially what the math help is doing in the background. Until the next video, I will see you and I'll be here thinking about what we're gonna do next. As always, thanks for watching and remember to keep on tracking. Four. Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat out here on the links enjoying a little free time after a long day of work. As usual, we're hearing that a lot of the videos are helping you guys out there make a little bit more money. I hope that's the case and I hope you take that extra money and a little extra time and get out and hit the links yourself. Of course, me, I'm out here having a good time right now, but next week I'll be back in there doing the next video. We love it when you watch them. We really like it when you give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, push this button over here. And of course, if you'd like to watch the next video, just push the one over here. I'll see you either on the links or I'll see you in the next video. As always, don't forget to keep on tracking. Man, I gotta go find that ball.